Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to bypass the parental control passcode on PS4. So the way it works is via a brute force attack, which basically tries every possible combination until it finds the right one. So, um, to do this, you're going to need a PS4 and a PC, and some software on that PC. So first, you have to set up a PS4 to make it easier for it to work. So let's just go to the settings, and you're going to want to just temporarily disable any themes you might have enabled. Um, so, what are they? So, any themes you might have enabled, you might just, you have to just... Just disable them. Um, you can, you can use the custom theme, but you can change the Kyo to this blue one. That's the important part, so that's be a blue background. Okay, great. Now... All we need to do is go back to the home screen, and that's all we need to do on PS4 for now, so I'll see you on the computer. Okay, so on the computer, so the things you need is um, PlayStation Remote PA, if you don't already have it. Um, I already do, so I'm not going to download it, but it's basically just you install that. Um, the second thing you're going to need is a program called PS4 Macro. This basically lets you send um, predetermined inputs to the PS4 over remote PA. So I'm going to download that. And the third thing we need is um, Parental Brute Force, which is an um, extension for PS4 Macro, which Brute Force is the parental password. So here we go. Um, yep, keep that. Alright, so. We're going to uh, extract PS4 macro. And we're going to extract brute force.zip. And we're basically just going to copy these two files into the PS4 macro folder. Okay. And um, you might need to edit these settings. Okay, so you might need to mess around with these settings. Um, maybe change some of these to true, some of these to false. It really um, depends. Um, you know, some computers it doesn't work properly with auto inject enabled, others it does. And some audio make controller doesn't work, and others it does. So you, you basically need to just mess around with these settings if it doesn't work. Um, for most computers, this probably will work. But if it doesn't, maybe try changing some of these around. So, yeah. So now that we've got that, we now want to open up PS4 Remote PA. Okay, and we want to sign into PA Station Network. Quite simple. I'm just gonna do this off screen because I don't want you to see my path. Okay, so we've just signed in, so confirm and continue. And then PS4. And now um, this might find it, it might not, you might have to enter it manually, um, but for me it probably will find it just because I've done this before. Making a PS4, okay, connecting to the checking the network. Alright, and now we are here. So the next thing you want to do is you want to open PS4 macro, the one you just extracted and set up. Um, and if you did it correct, you should see a command prompt window come up and it should say parental brute force about DOL in the bottom here. So what you want to do is simply just want to head up um, and remote pays a bit yeah, I get in a moment. But you want to head up to the settings. Um, parental control slash family management. You want to hit on to PS4 system restrictions and then be on this screen. Once you're on this screen, you just want to open this up and open this up and you just hit PA.
and you'll see it is now trying every possible combination in order of most commonly used. Um, if it zags a bit, it will be a bit slower, but if it, it should, in theory, never desync. Um, I've made pretty good sure of, pretty damn sure of that. So see, I'm getting quite a few, I'm getting quite a few um, seal downs here. This is not an ideal, but hey, it should still work. If you have better internet, it'll be faster. And as you can see, it just found the password, it was 0123, and we are now in the pay PS4 system restrictions thing, so uh, we could we could go in and we could turn everything off, we could disable the restrictions, um, we, could, we could disable them. So yeah, we could we can do all the stuff in here now, so basically we, we we cracked it um and you can change your password now too because we know what it is right so that's about it um we don't know the pen penalty control password you can get in there whenever you want um and this will take the amount of time this will take depends on how good their password is if it's like it, it will eventually find it um i think it will take about like it could take a max like an hour or two hours um to find it but um, you see, I had a pretty bad password. It's one that's pretty commonly used, so one, two, three. So it found it pretty quickly. But yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching, and I um, hope you enjoyed, and hope this is helpful to someone. Um, this is the only method I can find that does not require resetting the entire PS4. So that that's pretty great. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye.